All right. Whoops, made a bit of a mistake there. I went to live streaming rather than to start recording. Anyway, this is part two. Part two, actually, I think there's four making parts. Four, four. Okay, four making parts. Four. For making parts, this is part two of the bread making. Cunning time, just listen. You might hear the ping, the ding, telling me an hour and a half is up. I've been busy though, look at those, fuck that counter, that hasn't been that clean in friggin' days and days and days. I've been going non stop. Didn't even get a chance to throw my laundry in the dryer yet. Don't want that tumbling around while I'm streaming. There'll be noise, all right, part two, with listening, listening for the bread machine. And I'm going to turn it round. There it goes. Oh, 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 talk about timing. Talk about timing. All right, I'm going to back to the hallway. Indeed. Oh, no. oh, my goodness me. Killer Corzo. You gave lots of bits, it seems that. It's just there, I don't know why. All right, cunning, cunningly designed bread machine door. Cut to way. Knew I was going to make lots of bread, so that's worth keeping. Oh, that looks pretty fucking good. That's pretty good. Oh, right, shit. No, it's like, ah, on. Oh, I meant to get it. Keep locked there. Oh, I better close the drawer. We don't want drafts. No. Hazel, make up your mind. Out you go. <laughs> right. Back to the action. There we go. Woo. All right. Table. Stuff. All right. Whoops. Didn't do something here. We need a drop of oil in this bowl. Yes, we do. Whoops. Yeah. 
better not spill the flour. I'm always terrified of them because why? Because I do it. All right, now I'm going to do something a little bit different since I'm eating alone. Although I'm enormously piggy, <laughs> I'm not going to tempt myself with two French loaves. I think I'm just going to. It's always tricky, I find. I'm not very good at dividing dough in half. I figure that maybe gravity will help me along. Look at that. All right, then you get, you know, I get a bit impatient. Come on, come on. All right. I, there's a special thing I need. It's very good at sort of cutting those anyway. There. I'm going to do that. And while I got my wits about me, see, I had a baggie all ready and waiting for me, and I'm going to take half the dough. Dough, it freezes terribly well, and it, you know, you can even make your uh, dough uh, ready for the next day, and you put the dough in the fridge. Last well there, take it out. Yeast begins to do its magic again. I'm going to make that very airtight. There we go. Make that very airtight. Okay, that's going in the freezer. In the meantime, punch that down. And I'm going to let that rise for half an hour in about 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes. I'll turn my oven to 375. And uh, then after about half, an, and I'll put some water in the oven if I remember. So I'll have a nice, crispy, lovely, lovely dough. And I'll take a yolk of an egg with a titch of water, beat it up a little bit, and I can, uh, at, before the bread's quite done, I'll, I've got a lovely silicon brush, and uh, I will let. Um, you know, brush it, brush the French bread with the egg yolk, and it gives it a lovely golden brown colour. Now that, ah, a bit of dough, that's going in the microwave, because that's a draft-free environment, and you know, it should rise nicely in there. Okay, I can put this in the freezer, and I'll be able to take this out, you know, in a whenever I next want to have a bit of French bread. And I should do that more often. At one time, I, the other day, I made two loaves of brown bread. And oh, I've got the range hood going. Better switch that off. Irritating noise. I'm going to set the timer for, uh, let me see, I said about 20 minutes, because by the time I've got the dough rolled and then get it put in a French loaf. There we go. It's set for 20 minutes. Now I try and clean up. Oh, and I'll lightly oil my the bread. You can do a cookie sheet or anything. I'll screw, screw, screw my cornmeal over the bottom of the pan and that way it's all about making life easy so that bread won't stick to the pan it'll I'll go and it'll come off in a lovely lovely way there we go i'm just gonna uh i think that's all that needs be said i'll see you all uh, i think it'd probably be about 20 nearly half an hour from now, then I'll roll the bed, bread, and get it ready to go in the oven, then I'll, that'll be the end of that part, and then the next part, or oh, hopefully it'll be a lovely loaf coming out of the oven, so see you at part three, bye. <laughs> oh, whoops, pressing the wrong thing again.